Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys behind the scenes of a YouTube video. So I'm gonna show you guys all of my tips and tricks on how to start your YouTube channel. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the equipment that I use, how I edit my videos, and how I make my thumbnails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys do, or if you guys found it helpful. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. So I wanna start off with my biggest tips and tricks on starting a YouTube channel. So my first and biggest tip, and it's so easy to do, is to just do it and I know it's kind of like well duh I want to do it you know but basically you want to create a username that you like because that's going to stick with you that's going to become your brand and you're going to go into YouTube create an account and see if your username that you want is available so that is the first big step that you have to do right and I feel like a lot of people forget that but you want to make sure your username is available and create the actual account next thing you're going to do is, is to film your video edit it make a thumbnail upload it and then share and I feel like this is where it can kind of get overwhelming. My second biggest tip is to work with what you have. So instead of going out and buying a camera or saying I can't make a video yet because I don't have a camera, if you have an iPhone or like a smartphone, I'm pretty sure your phone has a camera on it. And I filmed so many videos on my channel using my iPhone and the quality is so amazing that no one's ever pointed out like, oh, you didn't use your regular camera to film this. That's how crazy the cameras on phones are nowadays. And then if you have a phone with a camera on it, you don't need to go spend and buy a camera because who knows, you might not even enjoy making YouTube videos. And then you're kind of stuck with a camera. With that being said, film your first video on your phone, get a feel for it. And I'm not gonna lie, my first video, I was so nervous. So you you might want to spend some time practicing talking to a camera which sounds so silly but when I first started filming I like talked really quiet it might be different for you but I'm a very shy quiet person so when I filmed my first video I was still like oh my gosh what am I doing you know but with practice and making more videos you'll get more comfortable on camera before you do any of that when you're making your account you might want to brainstorm some video ideas now if you want to do weekly videos two times a week whatever it might be you want to have at least a month worth of ideas pre-planned so I actually have a video idea for every single day for the next six months It sounds crazy, but once you get in that brainstorming pattern You'll have it and it's just really helpful because it takes the guesswork out of what am I going to film today? Or what am I going to upload that day? And it just makes it so much easier and less stressful when you like already know what you're going to do So going back to you're going to film your video and then once you have it filmed There's so many different options on how you want to edit it I use Final Cut Pro which I will show you guys next but there's tons of different programs to use and I'm not familiar with it if you only have like an iPad slash tablet or a phone I know there's some apps out there that you can edit videos which is so crazy because I don't think that was around when I started YouTube but there's also free programs if you have a Windows or a Mac I know there's iMovie and Windows Movie Maker they're not the best editing software but you get a feel for editing and you can kind of see if you like it because almost with every video on YouTube someone edited it and that is part of the YouTube experience it's not only filming but it's also editing which I feel like a lot of people don't realize how much work and time editing is. Personally, it's my favorite part is to edit the videos, but I think everyone kind of has a different opinion on it. So again, I would recommend starting off with the free editing software. That way you don't have to spend a lot of money because the editing software that I use was a $300 purchase. I bought it six months into my YouTube thing when I was kind of like, okay, I really like this. I want to keep doing it and I could afford it. So it was worth it. Again, that might be different for you. You might be able to afford it right away and go do it if that's something you really want to do, but it is an investment. There's also another editing software by Adobe called Adobe Premiere and I was taught how to use that in high school and it's like $20 a month to become an Adobe member. I pay that as well to use Photoshop but I think you can get like one or two programs depending on the price point that you want to pay. I think you can get all their programs as well because there's like Illustrator, Photoshop, Lightroom, all these really cool editing software that you can use that are really artistic. I know if you're a college student, you can use your college ID. I think I think that's what it is to get a discount. I think it's like 10% off I don't know but it does save you some money which is awesome that's a really great option because that's a monthly subscription so you can kind of test it out see if you like it and then just pay for one month kind of thing and I do think you can get a two-week free trial as well and those are definitely some options for editing software but again if you're starting out I just recommend using the free one to see if it's something that you enjoy and as you start using those programs like they say practice makes perfect you'll start to learn new skills within the program and get really comfortable using it which is awesome like I know a lot of the keyboard shortcuts 
that's because I use it every single day to edit a video to upload. But now I'm gonna share but now I want to share with you guys my filming equipment and setup. So I am gonna record this on a separate camera so that you guys can see what I see. So I am just gonna be using this camera. My brother lets me borrow this, which he is so amazing. And I'm gonna turn the brightness up just a little bit because it's very dark with the windows. So as you guys can tell, I have windows right in front of me in this filming setup which is so nice because it adds a lot of natural light in but then i just have my camera right here and my big ring light behind it so my camera that i like to film on a lot this is especially really great for vlogging or if you're traveling because it's so tiny and compact but i really like it because it has autofocus and it is the canon g7x i want to say it's around 600 dollars when i bought it but it's been a while it's been like three years so it could be cheaper now i know they have a canon g7x mark ii which which is the newer version but this camera is so nice because it has this flip out screen which when I film I like this because I will look at it to make sure everything that I'm sharing with you guys is in focus like when I go like this and hold it up to the screen you guys can see what I'm seeing and it's just kind of nice because you can kind of gauge where everything is and see where you are in focus so I really love this and plus with it being on top when you're filming you're supposed to look into the lens and it's just kind of nice because you can casually look up here without your eyes looking like you're all the way over the camera I'm filming on right now the screen pops out like this and then you kind of look over it this way rather than at the lens which is kind of weird when you're filming and watching a video and someone's not looking at you and then I just use this tripod and this is a floor tripod which is awesome I don't know where this is from my brother was really into photography and let me borrow it and then behind it I have my big ring light and this is the biggest game changer I mentioned having windows is really nice to let the natural light in but this just adds a really nice even light to, to your face or your filming background whatever it is this is from diva ring light and this was a little expensive it was definitely a splurge but i knew i needed lighting but beforehand i would just use like one of those really big floor lamps and just kind of angle it at me it did get hot really quickly when i was filming but this one was a splurge it's kind of like already a year into youtube so i thought it was worth it and then over here i recently started using this softbox light which i bought when i bought this one i bought it from the same website which i will try my best to have it linked down below this basically opens up there's a light bulb in there and the screen goes on it dim it so it's not too harsh just turn it on with this little switch super convenient you can angle it however you want and the angle that I have it at just lights up my background really nicely and then speaking of backgrounds I think it's really nice to have a background that has a lot of your personality in it some people use their rooms whatever it may be and honestly the background is not too important it does make your videos more you but you can seriously just film in front of wherever if your content is good your video is going to be good and I edit most of my videos on my iMac it's a desktop I'll show you guys how I edit on it next so that was a little bit behind the scenes that's what I see when I'm filming because I don't see this but I see all the lights and I hope that helps but again lighting isn't necessary if you have a window in your room just sit in front of it like I am right now and the lighting is just as good but I'm going to head over to my computer and I'm going to show you guys how I edit my videos and how I make my thumbnails Hey guys, so we are over on my computer. I don't really know the best way to film this. So I mentioned I have been using Final Cut Pro. It is my favorite software so far and I also use Photoshop a lot. So we're going to open up Final Cut Pro to edit a video next. I'm just going to show you guys but I'm going to use a clip that I already have imported. So you're going to go up to the top and click File and you're going to click New. And then you're going to click New Project and this is how you create your new video that you're going to create. So I'm going to do this one as it new. You can type whatever you want and you're going to hit OK. Timeline bar thing's going to be empty. I did customize my workspace a little bit, but you can just like drag these however you really like and these are videos that I already have edited you can delete these but I like to keep them to make sure I don't have to make any edits and you're going to import your new folder of videos that you made so you're going to go to this button right here and this screen is going to pop up so I like to go over to my desktop and pull up whatever I named the new folder I already did that but you're going to hit one of these buttons and then you're going to hit down in this corner import select it once that's done it's going to pop up into this timeline over here and i'm just going to drag this video this is really old this is from 2017 i think so there's little baby kelly 
and you're gonna have it like this and I'm gonna show you guys how I add my filters to my videos that I use in every video so over here if you go into the effects you just click this little button it's like two little squares and I like to go into color I add broadcast safe to my video so you're just gonna drag it over here and it's gonna go onto the video and then you're gonna go up to this little thing and you can adjust the amount and it just depends on each video but I usually put it up really high and then I'm also gonna grab hue and saturation and this just adds a brightener and some color to your video so again it's totally customizable to you so see if you add it this it's really gonna brighten it up so I just like to do that a little bit add a little bit of color not too much but it just kind of makes your tan look more tan you can lessen the amount but see that little bit of a difference makes a huge difference that is basically all my filters that I add to my video then I want to show you guys how I do my little subscribe button so this is a still image picture that I imported into my library I drag it down to my library bar and then see how big it is and I like to have it smaller so I'm gonna go over to transform over here click this little button and you can adjust the size you can move it around so that's really awesome and I just put that wherever I want and I don't know if you guys have noticed but in my videos I like it to fade in and out of my videos so I'm just gonna go on my keyboard click command T and it adds this little border to it and it makes it fade see how it just subtly comes in and then I like to add my little sound effect and that goes onto the lower bar so it's super simple to add these little things but there's so many tutorials on YouTube and articles you can read to find out more stuff on it again if you ever have any questions there's this little help thing up here and you just click that and you can type in any questions that you might have but that is basically how I edit my video I also will use the B button which opens up the blade which just looks like this little guy and this is how I make all my cuts so you just click you can click here then if you hit a which just makes your mouse go back to normal it gets like the little arrow guy you can click it and hit delete and it's gone and you can do that as much as you want and so if you make any mistakes when you're filming you can just hit that button and it'll cut it out that is basically how i edit all my videos i hope you guys found that helpful so now i want to share with you guys how i make my thumbnails so i am just going to open up photoshop again that is like a 20 dollars monthly subscription that i'm paying for and i just uploaded a what's in my purse video for this week and this is what the thumbnail looked like i didn't have the word my but i want to show you guys how to add text thumbnail but i'm going to show you guys the thumbnail size so over on photoshop if you click new oh i have the little pinwheel you're going to click new and then this little screen's gonna pop up and I'll show you guys the size dimensions because I have it on auto save. So with your new document, you're gonna wanna pick one of the things out once it loads. So what's gonna pop up is the default setting and you don't really want that for your thumbnail. So the setting that I always pick is 2560 by, by 1440 at 72 pixels per inch and that's where you just go over here and type those things in. So if you're watching this, you can screenshot this if you want. And then you're just going to click continue. It's going to make a new one of these. And this is the size of a thumbnail. So then you're going to insert your picture, which I did on this one. And this is where I typically add any filters that I think it needs. So I will go into adjustments and add some brightness. And I just drag the brightness up. I will add a photo filter. I looked wrong one. I will add a photo filter. I like to add a cooling filter and it just makes it less yellow orange which is really nice and of course you can change the opacity with it which is nice to make it a little bit less. Photoshop's really just a nice photo editor but another pro to it which I like to use in my thumbnails is adding text to my images. So typically you guys see this font on all my thumbnails. So on my skincare routine, this is what the font looked like. I like to make it all pink. It kind of matches my aesthetic. I use a similar font in all my, on all my thumbnails just to kind of brand myself and a similar color, but I'm just going to type it in and then I'm going to add a stroke and a drop shadow. So to add any of those to your text, you're going to click on the text layer and then you're going to go down here and hit the FX and that's how you add stroke and drop shadow and you can adjust it however you want once that screen pops up but honestly making a thumbnail is so easy so once that's all done you're going to go back up to the file and click save as and you want to save this as a jpeg because a photoshop document is not going to work on the youtube website so you save it as a jpeg you hit save 
and then when this pops up you want to make sure it's at a 5 medium for quality because if it's any bigger YouTube will say it's too big and it can't load so then you just hit ok and it goes to your desktop and then you're going to go to YouTube insert your video insert the thumbnail and then you're going to do your tags and titles and that is all the steps it's so easy you guys. so I hope this video was helpful I hope you guys learned a lot of new things if you're starting a YouTube channel just remember to have fun with it because honestly that's what it's all about and if you guys have a YouTube channel or are thinking about starting it let me know what your username is I would love to subscribe and if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a big thumbs up I hope you guys are having a wonderful day I wish you all the best of luck with your YouTube journey or if you just wanted to watch this to see what really goes on behind the scenes thanks for watching and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys very soon with my next video bye guys